Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Sushma. Today in the video we shall see how to create as a JMS send and receive endpoints. Ideally when we are using JMS send there are many types of endpoints say for a file transfer receive, file receive, file send, uh, uh, FTP, uh, SFTP. So JMS is one such thing where you can send the messages uh, uh, to the queue. So you can have a uh, receiver queue, uh, uh, you can send the message to the receiver via queue and you can uh, receive the messages uh, in, uh, via into the queue. We shall directly go to the demo where I shall show you the uh, steps involved and in how to create the JMS send or JMS receive endpoint. Log into the DX console, go to the end, click on the endpoints, new endpoint. So as I told you, there are many endpoint types, file receive, file send, JMS. Uh, FTP uh, commonly used uh, across will be file receive files and FTP or HTTPS so today we shall be seeing how we can uh, use JMS which is a Java message uh, uh, middleware oriented API can uh, can interact between the uh, clients uh, two or more than clients via messages file receive First, we shall see the steps in mold and how to create the file receives. Select the partner to whom you, the endpoint is assigned. Select the account. And JMS receive options so uh, by default whatever the JMS uh, convictions will be there uh, provided in the system properties that is uh, click on system properties so you can see the JNDI uh, JMS provider URL uh, connection initial factory details so this will be used in the endpoint uh, uh, in the endpoint where we are providing the JMS or uh, JND uh, provider details. So the context factory whatever we have been provided and the provider in case if you want to change you can check in the box and you can provide the details and also you can provide the queue to which you want the messages has to be Re received now we shall see the steps involved in creating the uh, in JMS send so go to the endpoint new endpoint and again JMS send select the partner Associate account again as I told you the Java naming uh, convictions will be picked up from the system properties in case if we want we can re, uh, re, make the changes by editing the checkbox here there is an additional like if you want to send the messages in bytes or text method uh, it's up to you based on your uh, requirement either you can send it as bytes or text for now We are only supporting as bytes or text no binary format uh, binary data uh, Hexa data can be sent usually when uh, while we are using JMS in the power center We can send it uh, through Hexa also, but uh, in DX we only uh, we are only supporting either bytes or text so use the uh, Select the message type and provide the destination queue as per your requirement. Click on save. So this is how the, uh, you can create a JMS receive or send endpoint and associate that to your partner, that to the partner and the account, which in turn, which can be used when we are trying to run any uh, jobs.
We would love to know your feedback, so please provide your feedback in support videos at informatica.com, twitters and twitter.com info support or also you can provide your feedback in YouTube user info support. Thank you.